Hi, this is Rob. I found this new, uh, let's see if I can get it. Sorry about that. This new cell service out there. It's through T Mobile. T Mobile. Uh, it's uh, another one there. Well, they piggyback off of T Mobile. That's who powers them. And I'm going to try it out and see what it's like. It's called Mint Mobile. They got a special going right now for three months, eight gigabytes. 4G, LD, you know the whatever the alt, unlimited nationwide text and talk, and uh, three in one SIM card. Not sure what that means. Uh, it's twenty bucks for right now if you uh, sign up. So uh, let me see if I can get some of this. I'm trying to do this left-handed, and I'm not left-handed. Some of the stuff. Pause that and read that if you'd like. Uh, you can bring your own phone. And uh, we'll go up here to the shop. It's got some good reviews. Go to the plans. There's the offer they have. So that's what it, all you have to do, what's this, nationwide coverage, I do have coverage in my spot, in my area, but here we go, here's some of the plans that they have, the three month plans are all, if you can see their introductory offers. So that's not bad. That that's total forty five dollars for three months, not per month. That's pretty cool. But then I don't know what it is when it goes up to regular. Okay, three months price. Then it's twenty five dollars a month. Which what is that like? One hundred and five dollars every three months, which is still not too bad. And there's six month plans. Those are not inductor offer, those are real offers. Here's the 12 month plan, which is pretty good. So it's uh, called Mint Mobile, and I'm going to try it out. I'm going to order the Sims card and give it to three months and see what happens. I don't trust putting my phone number or switching my phone number over so I'll just use one of my old cell phones and uh, use that for a while and see how it is okay I will see you in a I'll see you when I get my card or my sims card and then from there we'll go from there and do the activation probably if I can and then um, go from there bye Okay, this is Rob. I got my Mint Mobile card, Sims card. But I, uh, already activated it and got it going. I was going to do it online, but I decided not to. But it's, uh, 8 gigabyte a month includes 3 months 20 bucks there's $20 oops for that 3 months and let me see so here I have a Boost mobile phone. It's an XR. Well, 10R. Want to call it that? Over here is a 7 Plus iPhone 7 Plus, and do 
take off that. See, it says boost. That one there says mint. Oops. I'm going to do a speed test. There's the boost. I gotta take the boost off of Wi Fi. Or I mean, the mint off of Wi Fi. There, it's off of Wi Fi. Okay, they're both on cellular data. And hit them. Remember, that's the mint, that's the boost. Boost I've been with for many years. This is through T Mobile, the mint. Big difference in speeds. And if you see this one, oh, it died. That one was going through uh, Schaumburg, Illinois, and this one was going through um, Elgin. So the mint was going through Elgin, Illinois, and this one's going through Schaumburg, Illinois. Do that again. They're not on Wi-Fi. They're on LTE. LTE. And then Mint, which is T-Mobile, and uh, the boost is Sprint. It even says right there, Sprint and T-Mobile. And the T-Mobile is running really good. I'm in Wisconsin. I'm in the southeast part of Wisconsin. And the closest cell tower to me is more than 62 miles away. But, do that again, third time. As you can see, the Mint through T-Mobile is really good speed. The one for Bruce Mobile, the speed speed's not that great. And if you can tell, the Boost has one, uh, oh, has two now, it had one before. Mint has one, RB2, sorry. But, big difference in the speeds. So, Now, get rid of that one. This is the Mint phone. Uh, I didn't transfer any numbers or anything. I just got a new number on it. And the transferring over and stuff was really quick. For the, this is an old Boost Mobile phone. It's what I had before. See my toothless on there. Uh, then I got this one so I figured I'd trade this one out for the three months for 20 bucks I've had it for probably a couple days and um, I've had a few issues and like at work if I go in the lunchroom I can't get it to on an LE LTE, it just comes with an E on it. But if I go to our Wi Fi at work, is really, really, really weak. But I can get this phone here to the mint to uh, stream videos on YouTube. This one here 
I can't get it to do anything on Wi-Fi, so I have to switch it over to LTE, and it will not stream any YouTube videos. I can just, like, look at emails and stuff. So this phone is pretty good for streaming, but but on Wi-Fi at uh, the lunch room in the lunchroom where I work, but outside the lunchroom, anywhere else in the building, it works fine on the LTE. This one works good on LTE all through the building. Except for the lunchrooms, like I said, the lunchroom's not so great for either one of these phones. But at least this one I can uh, through Mint I can do uh, YouTube and uh, on the weakest Wi-Fi that I have but uh, for the few days I've had it so far uh, I will be switching this phone over to uh, Mint Mobile because it just prices are, are they're worth it. I do have, when you get this, you get like uh, extra, you get extra SIM cards. I don't have the extra SIM cards. I've already gave them away. But, hold on. Open this up. And there's, oops, light. Instructions on how to do it. Let's see. It does come with a. Hold on. It's hard. I, I'm holding the camera and trying to do this at the same time. Some cards sits here. Take it out. You got your choices of uh, the little sims, the big sims, but most of they all phones take that. And from what I understand, mostly all iPhones are compatible. I mean, this is the new. 10R and it's compatible according to the website this was compatible I didn't have to do any unlocking or anything I just took the sims card did what it said on the screen on the website and activated the sims card before I even put it in the phone once it said it was activated I put it in the phone and within about God, I think 30 seconds, maybe a minute, I was able to text, send pictures, do all that. Now this one I'm going to transfer my phone number over, because I had this phone number for too long on this one. This one I just wanted to test it out, see what it's like. And uh, so far it's not bad. Uh, I will be transferring this over, probably not for another few weeks. I still want to test drive this one so uh, so far I like it the speeds pretty good and and I really honestly don't care about the speed because I, I Wi-Fi everywhere I am, at, am if I can so that's not a big deal and I don't really go on any websites a whole lot or anything I mainly just check my email and do some banking and Go on YouTube if I'm somewhere and I'm bored. That's about it. Um, the only thing I have found out is if you go with a new number through them, you will start, well, I don't know. This has just been my experience. I started getting a whole bunch of calls from California, uh, from out here in Wisconsin, mainly California, Ohio, uh, I guess the person who had this phone before uh, really got around. Uh, then I got a lot of the thanks for uh, staying the night at Marriott's 
you get a free night, blah, 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 crap. But I get that on Boost Mobile too once in a while. But it just seems like the first two days, possibly three, just phone call after phone call for the guy that used to own this phone. And it's just from different states, so I'm not sure what if he used that as a business number or what it was or why he even gave it up and didn't tell anybody. But as of right now, I will give Mint Mobile well, out of five stars, I'd give it probably a three and a half right now. And the only reason is because of uh, all the phone calls and uh, the little problem I have with the LTE when I'm at work in the lunchroom. But that would, might change throughout my time and experience with it. I mean, I still have a little less than three months of service left on this phone. But uh, I will get back to you on that, and I'll let you know what's going on. Uh, it's cheap. It's really worth it. Uh, there's no plans written on here. back welcome to the fox on your side um, I'll be right back okay I'm back I just wanted to get on this to show some of the plans so if you can see mint mobile used to be called mint sim and if you order Today, which today is Saturday the 23rd of February at 1.30 in the afternoon. You get free shipping on your order for the next 12 hours. It actually, from what I can see, it this up here, whoops, this up here resets itself. But you got your shop, what you can shop for which is your plans, phones, and add-ons. They do sell phones, they do sell new ones. You got your reviews, how it works. Bring your own phone so you can check to see what it is. Your coverage, your help. Sign in, active, acti act activate the, in the blog. So I'll go to plans. Let's see, here's this. $20. Oh, that light is like... Sorry. It's $20, 20, 20 bucks a month, buy one, get one free offer. It gives you 8 gigabytes, expires in 90 days, and you can pick a different plan. Uh, we'll go down. Okay, here's the plans here. These are uh, introductory offer plans for the three months. This is the one that I'm on with this phone. But if you look at the bottom, you can see what it really will cost. So see. I think when I switch my boot, my other Boost mobile phone over to it, I'm going to go with that plan. It's like I said, I don't need a whole lot of data. I like to go with that plan, but that's a lot. But there's the plans. good deal no, a deal so good that we put it in lights so you will like I said when you order it excuse me you'll get this which is your main one that you're gonna do then you get two other ones in the same card which will be um, one for seven days, then the SIM card is no good, then the other one is in case you want to 
go ahead and change over. See if we can get the coverage thing down. So there is their coverage. The, the thing is, it, it seems really weird because they're from California, but there's not a whole lot. But all over this way, the Midwest and further, it's got a lot of coverage. Minnesota's almost completely got coverage. Okay, that's enough of me ranting and raving. This thing's already long. So, uh, let's go. Thanks for watching. Bye.